All right, for today, we're gonna cook up this gorgeous two inch bone-in ribeye from Blackbird Farm. Uh, I'm going to do it uh, in the uh, sous vide bath with the immersion circulator. I don't normally do steaks that way, uh, but because this is so thick and so big uh, of a steak, uh, I'm gonna put it into, into a bag, seal it up, and, uh, and do it for three hours because it's a frozen piece of meat in the immersion circulator at, for me, 118 degrees, which will make it rare. Uh, but some people, you know, might want it 120, 125. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, salt, pepper, and then bag it up. Into the jewel at 117 is what I've set it at, or 118. <laughs> hours at 117 coming out of the sous vide bath and on to I'm gonna put it on aluminum foil on this pan uh, cutting board and I'm gonna keep all the juices and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sear off this piece of beef you'll see how in a second all right so now I'm finishing this gorgeous piece of ribeye with the sears all. I've got a, a piece of aluminum foil underneath it to uh, protect the cutting board. And it's going to take a little while, so let me turn the video off. Alright, I am just about done here. Getting the fat nice and crispy, a nice sear on the outside of the beef. I flipped it over, you'll notice this is the other side. Thank you to my lovely wife Brenda for doing some camera work for me while I do this. And we're just about done. So that is how you make a gorgeous piece of bone-in Blackbird Farm ribeye in the immersion circulator, the sous vide process, plus a sear from a blowtorch, and the sears all. So next time I'll do something a little less fancy, but. That's what I wanted to do tonight with this gorgeous piece of ribeye. Thank you. Lots of love to everyone. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, so one secret. Once everyone else eats the ribeye and you've got a little left on the bone, because it was a giant bone. A little salt. A little pepper. This is gold right here. Mm. Enjoy your beef. Enjoy healthy, good beef. Thank you.